Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you again for stopping by today for another wonderful tutorial and if this is your first time on my channel, you are highly welcome and I, if you have not already subscribed, please do so and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be drafting an off-shoulder printed that I bought here about it and um, this you can draft directly on your fabric or you can use a pattern paper. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is mark out five inches, which is my off shoulder. So from there, I mark out this chest line, which is nine inches, my bust point, which is ten and a half inches, my under bust, which is thirteen and a half inches, my half length of my waistline, which is sixteen and a half inches, plus the half um. Uh, my seam allowance for joining on the bottom. So with this uh, with this pattern, you can just uh, add a peplum or you can join this to a thread, depending on what style you are going to do. Okay. So after I've done that, the next thing is to go on your bust point. There we are going to place our the nipple to nipple measurement. My nipple to nipple measurement is eight inches. I'm going to divide that into two, making it four inches. And I'll also add half inch to that for joining, making it four and a half inches. So that's the measurement I place on my bust point and also on my waistline. Now I'm just going to connect the line. And I use my ruler to connect my joints. Okay, so after connecting that, the next thing is to go on your shoulder line. On the shoulder line, we are going to be extending the nipple to nipple measurement. However, I am going to use uh, five inches instead of four and a half inches. The reason being that I want the sh um, shoulder area to be a little bit wider. Okay, so I'm going to place that uh, five inches right there on the shoulder line. Then I'm going to extend the lines, the nipple to nipple um, line, just like this. Okay, so once you do that, the next thing is to add the shoulder dart. So uh, on that nipple to nipple line, I'm going to be taking out one inch on, on each side of the line. So one inch here and then another one inch there. Okay, now the shoulder uh, dart, it will end uh, one inch above the bust point. So from the bust point, to go up by one inch, and then you connect your shoulder dart right there. Then I'll connect this uh, line. Okay, so once that is done, you come back again on the um, bust point, come down by one inch. So now from this bust point, we're going to go down again by okay, one Okay, so inch. now this is where we will add the uh, under bust uh, dot. That's where it will start. So for the under bust uh, dot, I am going to be taking out one and a half inches on both sides. So you're going to place your table like so. And then you mark one and a half inch on the right side and then one and a half inches on the left. Okay, so that same one and a half uh, inches on both sides is what I will extend down to the waistline. So I'm going to just use my uh, French curve and then connect my dots like so. Use your French curve on this side. And then you turn your French curve to the other side and connect it just like I'm showing you here. And as you can see, our um, the bust uh, is already formed. So once you do that, you just use your ruler and extend the rest of the line to the waistline. And basically, this is it, and your dart is uh, completed. It's very easy. 
All right, so I'm just going to go back in using my French curve to, um, to shape out all the sharp edges. All right, so once you've done that, your the dart is uh, complete right now. So we're going to go ahead and insert our horizontal measurement. Okay, so now um to add your horizontal measurement, we are uh, the bust measurement I'm working with is at thirty eight inches. So I'm going to divide that by four, and that gives me nine and a half inches. And I mark the measurement on the chest line. Now I'm going to measure for the dart I'm going to take out from that line and I have about half inch. So I'm going to add uh, that half inch back to my measurement so there will not be any shortage, okay? So after that, I am going to add two inches as my seam allowance. And you can add uh, two and a half inches. The more allowance you add, the better, so that uh, by the time you sew your real measurement, you will not have like any shortage. All right, so I'm going to go on the waist measurement and divide my waist measurement by four, which is uh, eight and a half inches. And I mark it right there. And then we are, remember, we are taking out uh, one and a half inches on both sides, that's uh, three inches. And then we're going to add that back to our measurement. So I'm going to mark three inches right there. Then plus the two inches uh, seam allowance for the side seam. That's what I have right there. So now on the shoulder line, the shoulder line, you're going to measure the front, um, your front uh, chest line or your front upper bust uh, measurement. So mine is uh, uh, 12 inches. So that's the measurement I am going to place on the chest, uh, on the uh, shoulder line. So I'm dividing 12 inches into two. That gives me um, six inches and I mark it right there. And then remember we are taking out uh, one inch on both sides of the shoulder line. So we are going to add that back to our measurement. So I'm going to add back the two inches. So I'm going to mark two inches also plus half inch uh, for joining, making it two and a half inches. So that's what I added there. So once you do that, then use your French curve or you can just use your free hand and connect your um, the ample area. And this is what you have. Then I'm just going to go with my ruler and connect the rest of the line. And then I'm going to connect the rest of this. Okay, so I'm just going to level, level this as my front uh, bodice. Okay, so the um the bodice is um, basically ready to be cut out. So you first of all start cutting out the dots. You just follow the lines and cut out the dots. And when you get to the curve area, you make sure you curve your scissors so you can get the perfect cut. Okay, so if you ha if you have not already subscribed again, please do so. I um also if you would like anything that um any style that you want me to do, you can also leave that thing in the comment section in my videos, or you can follow me on my Instagram, my Facebook page, and Facebook group. All the information will be in the link uh, in the description box below. Okay, so before I continue with the cutting, I am going to insert uh, my um, my neckline design. So I come down by two inches uh, from the center fold. I'm going to be um, 
making a sweet as a neckline. So you, once you come down by two inches, you use your French curve or your free hand and connect the sweet as a neckline like this. So that's what it looks like. Some people prefer to join the join the bodies together before cutting the um, the neckline out. You can totally do that. It depends on you. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish cutting this. So this is what the bodies looks like once you cut it out. All right. That's my center front, and then the two side uh, front. Which will be joined by the side. This is the center front. So this is how it looks like, and it's very easy to wrap. Okay. So you can use this to make any style. You can use the make it into a dress, or you can choose to add a peplum to the uh, waistline to complete your style. All right. So now we're going to draft the back as well. So I'm going to mark out the five inches again and then get my chest line, which is nine inches. And then a bust point, I'm just using the bust point for um, guide to add my dot. Then my um, waist uh, measurement and the seam allowance. I'm also using one and a half inches as the uh, zipper allowance. Then from that zipper allowance, I mark out the four and a half inches for the dot all right so that's the line that i have right there so now i'm going to on the waistline i'm going to take out a um, half inch on both sides okay so now from that bust point i uh, mark as my guide i will go up by one inch because the back um, waist that uh, starts one inch above the the bust point so i'm just going to extend the lines and then i'll connect the lines together so for the back uh, bodies you can decide to just use a waist dart or you can decide to um, use a princess uh, dart as well all right but for the purpose of this tutorial i'm just going to use a waist dart for the back uh, body Okay, so once you do that, now we're going to insert our horizontal line. If for the shoulder, remember we marked um, this uh, six inches plus half inch. That's six and a half as our as our measurement for the front. So we're going to mark the same six and a half inches for the back. Okay, so once you mark that. Once you mark that, you go ahead and on the chest line, divide your bust again by four inches. That's nine and a half inches for me. And I mark it right there plus two inches for the seam allowance. All right, and then on the waistline, I'll do the same, divide uh, my waist measurement by four, which is uh, eight and a half inches. Then the dart that we're taking out is the one inch. We're taking half inch on both sides, making it one inch. One inch rather, sorry. So we are going to add that back. I add that the one inch back, and then the two inches are for my seam allowance. This is my one inch plus two. And then I'm going to use my French curve and connect um the armhole curve. I'm going to connect everything together. This is my armhole area, so I'm going to just connect. I connect the armhole curve and then use your straight ruler and connect the rest of the line. And then use my ruler, connect the sides. All right, so uh, that's basically uh, done and you're ready to cut it out. You can also decide to leave the, the neckline as is. It can be straight, or if you want to create a different neckline, you can come down by one inch uh, from the from the center and then create your neckline. 
All right, so I've cut out the back piece, and this is what it looks like. Like I say, these are uh, just waist and so you'll be cutting two of this on your fabric. Okay, and then this zipper allowance is a one and a half. Okay, so this is the front. I just went ahead and uh, joined it together. So in order to join it, you're going to place the side, um, the side piece to the center front, and then you join from the from the um, from the bottom to up. And once you join it, this is what you will have. So if you're a beginner, if it, it helps, you can practice, practice on your pattern paper. It doesn't really hurt, okay? Before you'll be comfortable cutting with your fabric. So once you join it, this is what you will have. All right, so now for the side, for, for the back, all you have to do is join the you're going to join the back on the side, from the side seam on the in the uh, of the front. I hope I'm making sense. So when you're assuming this is your fabric, once you finish joining the front, you join the back on the side. That's what I'm showing you here. So once you join it, you will not have the opening for the zipper in the back. All right, so once you cut this on the fabric, you're going to join one side of the back and then the other side of the back. And then in the middle, you will have the zipper allowance. And when you're joining on the side, you're going to use your uh, proper measurement. You measure your bust measurement and then your waist uh, measurement. And then you join that. And this is what it looks like. And basically, this comes to the end of the tutorial. I hope this has been helpful. If you have, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, like, and share my video.